Good evening gamers of the internet, it's Heliophobia and live at the Irrelevant YouTuber Awards Bringing you the moment you've all been waiting for Are you quitting YouTube? Uh, no, 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 not that one just yet Give me three or four years and thousands of shattered egos and uh, I'll probably consider that Did someone make a video on you? No, no, not that either I feel like I'm disappointing you more than I did with my parents Today will be the first time in like years I'm finally making a hate comments video on this channel or I mean at any of my channels Of course when there's only 11 or 12 videos on the channel you probably won't have made a hate comments video because you're too irrelevant and i guess for brevity i'll just start the video here so yeah back on the 8th of may 2024 i uploaded a video titled this youtuber needs to be arrested in brackets even is online and i essentially responded to a video from the leftist commentator's second channel with just over 100,000 subscribers titled quote unquote hunting predators for clout which in my opinion let's just say was a deeply flawed critique of alex rosen of predator poachers who carried out the edp 445 sting in 2021 and essentially my point was that a lot of his points against alex as well as in relation to like all his topics in general seem to be focused on just demon the right at all costs instead of like making an actual coherent point and let's just say because the tags i used and stuff pushed the video towards his fan base i got a lot of pushback <laughs> that's what happens when your channel is reliant on the youtube algorithm pushing everything because uh, none of your subscribers like you and i guess in tonight's video episode of heliophobia and raw still yearn for the amazing growth stuff me from yesteryear so let's move on to mumble face the reason why i call mumble face if he watches video he mumbles a lot and it's really hard to follow. Pow! Oh! I guess there's enough negative comments from that video that I'll throw together a compilation of some of the best ones featuring somewhat detailed responses to some of the worst ones. And let's go. He scored moderator accent. School emoji. Uh, another school emoji. I think we called your typing cadence the 2021 brain roll accent. But in the defense of that trekkers who wrote this comment, he has provided me a sense of originality relief. Because throughout the last year and a half, across this and potentially other channels I may or may not have had roles in running, I have read the same comment over and over and over again about my voice. Nerd emoji, nerd emoji, nerd emoji, nerd emoji, nerd emoji, nerd emoji. Uh, uh, what the hell even is a nerd emoji accent or Discord moderator accent? Like, uh, like genuinely, is the nerd emoji voice basically meant to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> At Embrix Candre 6073 Sounds like one of those bloody auto-generated Xbox names <laughs> Commented Yes hate, but you sound like your cheeks are full of air <laughs> Again, what, what does that even mean? Let, let, let me try <laughs> At Fesh Prince 7181 With the amazing Will Smith avatar Indicating a great hit of a comment we're going to be reading in a second it Says Do you have any idea how stupid you sound in this entire video? Dude, get a grip. The writer in grip, the money is not worth it. I mean, bold of you to assume that I'm making money off anything I've been making for the past few years. Actually, I'm probably in the negative, considering I've bought a bunch of new games to put in the backgrounds of these videos. Uh, also, if you're gonna claim I'm stupid and think that I don't know why I'm being stupid, uh, could, could you at least uh, give the reasons? Uh, I think that would be uh, very helpful. Uh, also, I don't know what he means by me being like a quote unquote right wing grifter. As of the time of recording, I think I've only made like two videos that you could potentially actually consider political. Firstly, the one about the British police who assaulted a drunk teenager because she said the arresting officer looked like a lesbian grandmother. And the Ethan is online video itself that we're responding to the comments of. But again, I'm really happy to support the Nazi cause of uh, fighting against forever plastics in our prime energy. A literal no-name YouTube user comments, I think you might just be stupid to be honest. Mm, a really convincing argument. And I will proceed to change my ways. And by that, I'm going to change the address that my Waze mobile app is using to navigate and will drive straight into a ward and immediately kill myself. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I, I'm a fine YouTube sometimes. These, these, these comments, they, they really get to you though. I'll have to take a break for a while. And not because of exams, maybe because of that comment, definitely. At dark null 587 comments. I think you likely lean more right winger than you believe. I do not think a lot of the Ethan points were particularly extreme, and I feel as though you thought most of it through an old leaf like an old leafy video, not very nuanced. If my video wasn't very nuanced, though, what about bloody Ethan's? At least I quoted sources for like 90% of the things I was talking about. I'm just speaking out of his crack for 90% of the video, conceiving that Alex Rosen went on Mike on Oz to discuss this thing. In fact, just to fill the time, I'll just play a bunch of b-roll of where i actually use sources to discredit it on 
He was talking to a guy pretending to be a little girl. It's not illegal. Uh -huh. Can genuinely be convicted of like impossible crimes where your intent is to commit the impossible crime. Like you could be speaking to like some FBI agent over the computer and by the way, that's an actual job they do. If it was illegal, federal investigators wouldn't be able to do it as in be online and then talk to predators. But if you're partaking in the conversation, genuinely believing that you're talking to a girl who's underage or something, unless you can prove entrapment, which is a relatively hard standard to like get to, you can genuinely he be arrested for that crime. Also, again, before all comparing me to Leafy, firstly, uh, not to blow up my own ego, but I think most of my videos are like somewhat better edited than like 99% of the stuff Leafy did. Not just because I have gameplay means that, uh, well, my god, <laughs> he's stupid. It's basically because of anonymity and also sort of time as well. Because basically, until like the middle of June or something, I shall be having examiners. So that's sort of the reason why if you go back and watch my second and third uploads to this channel before I came back in April, they were sort of like significantly more edited and used way less gameplay. The first one, even though I stand by all the points I made in there, it, it was definitely edited like dog water. But also, uh, back to the leafy and nuance thing, he was making daily reaction videos in a comedic manner. And apart from maybe the BuzzFeed videos, I didn't see him trying to argue like any serious politics or anything. He was just talking about a bunch of YouTube drama and stupid videos he found on the internet. That's a weird comparison he made. At Andromeda3099 comments. Not gonna lie, what the actual f is this video? Just because he had one questionable take doesn't mean it's and he needs to be arrested. Also, not gonna lie, your videos don't seem that good in general. And, there, and there's quite a lot I'm gonna address with this comment. But firstly, if you couldn't tell by the title thumbnail and the relatively detailed descriptions of each video that I make, this was a 16 and a half minute critique of a YouTube video uploaded by the leftist commentary channel Ethan is online on his second channel, Pethan, in March 2024. Secondly, uh, yes, if his take was questionable, it, it does mean it's it's just that one is a much stronger word that I also didn't use in my videos because uh, these are all family friendly even though we're talking about potential predators and pe And obviously the arrested part is like just sort of clickbait based on the subject matter we're talking about. I, I don't know if I was debating like bloody video games I wouldn't have put that in the title. If you don't like the clickbait then uh, fair enough we'll just uh, write that and dead. If you don't think my videos are good I think it's completely fair that we look at yours I if you're going to be judging the quality of mine. Okay so apparently this is a British channel oh my god. Oh friend. I think who is uh, Daniel Craig as his profile picture and so far his one upload is one YouTube short with two views What? Called what games do you want to see with the sticker what game should I play first anyway uh, Let's see this top quality YouTube short uh, I am a brand new creator looking to make more realistic representations of games via unedited footage An F in English? Bobby you speak English The fact that you made this on phone as well so you probably had autocorrect and yeah you still couldn't spell that. So what do you mean more realistic representations via unedited footage? You mean just not editing footage of you playing games? I think there's like 10,000 channels who already did that. But well, there is also 10,000 commentary channels where... Uh... Nice shoot, hit, tis jagerch, surge jage, whoop, dept, In my defense, not all of them have the same opinions as me. But there's only so many times you can play a game unedited because in a particular environment, you have a set goal. Or else I have unlimited topics to talk about. You see any other commentary channels talking about the bloody Apple Crush iPad commercial. The games I will be playing are chosen by you. God forbid I have my own personality, play my own games that I like, and then people will watch me for that. As of right now, I have really, really <laughs> well. Project Zomboid, which is I'm assuming what he's referencing at. Risk of Rain 1, 2 and Returns. Please say which one you'd like to see first. Ah, the name Rim, Rim World. <laughs> Obviously, I don't think anyone is accustomed to a British slang, or at least um, most of you aren't. But uh, if you are, I think you can understand why. The term Rim World sounds like an extension to Disney World, where you just have infinite orgies. Don't let your kids watch it! For all of your sex, I'll end the video here. Thanks for watching this video and for all the recent support. I've been Heliophobia and all my social media ads are at Heliophobia. I'm sorry if I have Rumble, TikTok, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube, and uh, Heliophobia as an underscore on X slash Twitter. Please leave me a few video ideas so we don't end up with a content drought. And until next time, good night, everybody.